Hello and welcome to the Jared Muntz Soccer Podcast. This is Jared Muntz from OnlineSoccerAcademy.com and as always, I'm your host. Today is January 11th, 2011 and I'm very excited to be back on the internet airwaves as this is our first podcast of 2011. So the Jared Muntz Soccer Podcast is put on by my company, OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. We make better soccer players through free online training videos. If you're a soccer player, coach, or, you have, or you're a listener that has a kid that's playing, sign up today for free at OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Today's guest is Andre Boudreau. Andre is a starting goalkeeper for the University of Louisville's men's college soccer team. They recently got second place in the D1 Men's College Cup. And with a Cajun name like Boudreau, you know he's got to be a fellow New Orleanian of mine. So, before he goes out and makes himself a warm pot of gumbo in that cold Louisville weather, let's get him on the line and see what he has to say. Tremendously exciting, you know, to be part of a team that can do something that great together and to go to a place like Santa Barbara, California in the middle of December um, is nice to have, you know, your family out there, but also, you know, the importance of the games um, is a real eye-opening experience and, and having fun and being able to play for the national championship is tremendous. You helped lead the team to a 21-3 season with y'all's only loss coming against Akron in the final. Um, it's not easy to go almost undefeated in college soccer. So what were some of the secrets uh, to y'all's team success this year? Um, you know, almost going undefeated, that was, um, that wasn't one of our goals we set at the beginning of the year. You know, we said we wanted to be undefeated at home and have a winning record on the road. And we thought that if we did that, it would put us in a great position to make a run in the college cup. Um, but having said that, throughout the season, we never once talked about going undefeated, even leading up to the final four weekend when we only had two games left and we still hadn't lost. Um, you know, but I think a real big part of it was the group of guys we had and how much fun we had together, not only on the field, but also off the field and how uh, we just looked after each other, took care of each other, and had so much fun and enjoyed being with each other um, so much. It, it just made everything so much better. It's getting better every year, I feel like. You know, this I'll be going into my fifth season as a Richard senior in the fall. And I can remember back to my true freshman year and um, look at some of the players we had and the teams we played. And just in those four or five years, how much better the quality um, soccer is being played each and every week, you know, all across the country. Um, you know, we play in the Big East and it's a very difficult um, conference, but we also played um, Ohio State and UCLA. Um, as well as some ACC teams this season. And, you know, they're from the West Coast, the Big Ten, the ACC, um, and all over the country, the level of soccer is improving each year, I feel like. Home games, we have um, stands just along one sideline, and I think it holds about 2,500. Um, we'll probably get, on average, I would say, around 14, 1500 at games. Um, and then for the three NCAA games we hosted this past season, we had over 5,000 people wow. at all three of those games, which was incredible. That's awesome. Um, you know, to look around, the people all around the field, up on the berm, behind the goal, um, it was packed. So that was, that was an incredible experience. Oh, that's so cool. So cool. Hey, you've done X, Y, and Z, you know. Um, no one can 
personally, I do a, a lot of that stuff. 